Hey guys, today in this video, we are going to be talking about that how you can clear your cache on your iPhone and your iPad. So without wasting any time, let's first hit the intro. So now, first of all, we have to understand exactly what is cache. So cache is basically a type of data that is used to temporarily store information. And this data is used to enhance the performance of frequently or often accessed data in your computer system. So all of your operating systems, apps and web browsers, they all use cache. Now I'm sure the question will come that if cache is so useful, why do we even need to delete it? And the reason is that cache can accumulate over time and potentially slow down your device. And that is the paradox of cache. So it's good to clear the cache out regularly. Clearing your cache also means that all of the temporary files that your browsers have installed or downloaded and they can be deleted. And it also gives your browser a clean fresh plate and also forces your browser to re-download all of the fresh versions. Sometimes there can be some conflicts, bugs and quirks with all of the temporary files and if you're having such type of problems then it's recommended to clear all your cache files because that will improve your device performance and also will give you more storage space and if there are any potential app or system glitches they can also be fixed so clearing the cache is pretty safe and won't delete any type of your messages or photos so now let's talk about the common cache types that you can find on your iphone so majorly there are three types of cache first one is the browser cache then there's app cache and lastly system cache and we'll talk about all three of them one by one and we'll also tell you that how you can clear all of these cache files in just simple steps but before that, let's be clear, these tricks will not work if you don't subscribe to our channel. Just kidding. So subscribe and explore our thoroughly researched and hands-on video. Now let's come back to the topic. So first we'll learn how you can clear your browser cache. And let's first talk about the Safari browser in your iPhone. So to delete Safari's cache data, open the settings app on your iPhone. Now within settings, scroll down and just tap on Safari. Now scroll down till you find clear history and website data and here just tap on it and here first you have to select the time frame let's select all history and here you have to select clear for profile just select all profiles and there's an additional option as well if you want you can turn it on rest is your choice now you just have to tap clear history to confirm you want to delete safari's browsing history and cache so after confirming your browser cache and its cookies will be deleted from your iphone but don't worry your autofill information will still be on your device but keep in mind that you'll also be logged out of all of the websites that you were previously logged into okay that was for safari but now let's say you are not using safari instead you are using a different browser let's say you're using chrome so how do you clear the cache from chrome on your iphone so to clear the cache in chrome open google chrome and follow these steps so as you can see i have the google chrome app here i'll just tap on it and here just tap on the profile icon then scroll down and go to privacy and security and here on the top just tap on clear browsing data and here you have to select the time from which you want to delete the data tap on time range and let's select all time then go back and here just go through all of the items that you'd like to delete like your browsing history cookies and site data cached images and files saved passwords and autofill data and once you've selected what you want to delete just tap on clear browsing data then again tap on clear browsing data and after that just just tap on done after you've deleted your chrome cache so now our browser cache data has been deleted and similarly you can follow all of the steps to clear cache data in your ipad as well so now let's talk about clearing your system data on your iphone so there's not a clear-cut method to delete all of your system data from your iphone but here are few things that you can do and it's pretty simple you just have to restart your iphone periodically so on your iphone go to settings then scroll down and tap on general then tap on iphone storage then again scroll down till the bottom and here you'll see system data and as you can see in my phone it's 1.07 GB now depending on your phone that how much data is there this system data size can vary so right now the system data is 1.07 GB but once we restart our iPhone this should be a little less than what it is now so let's do that and see so as you can see the system data size has been reduced a little bit and since the phone is not used that much so you cannot see a major difference but if you use your phone regularly and there are lots of stuff in your phone then you can definitely see a drastic change in your system data now we have learned how to clear our system data but there's one type of cache data that's still left and that is the app cache data so unlike browser cache that you saw that it can be deleted from going into the settings however the only way to clear app cache on your iphone such as youtube instagram facebook whatsapp is to either offload the app or remove them completely from your device and then later reinstall the app so to do this on your iphone go to settings then again tap on general tap on iphone storage and here 
choose the app that you want to delete or either offload them. So let's select Instagram. We can either offload them or completely delete them. So if we offload the app, this will free up our storage a little bit, but the documents and data of the app will be there as it is. And hence we can free up our storage, but cannot clear cache data. So to completely clear cache data, we may need to delete the app. So here just tap on delete app. Then again, tap on delete app. And as you can see, the app has been deleted. Now, if we go back to the app store and let's install Instagram again. So now this app will be installed without all the cache files and any other related data you used to have. So once we have installed the app, now let's go back again and then go to settings. And here you'll see the size of Instagram app. Let's tap on it. And you can see the documents and data size has been reduced drastically. So that was the way by which you can clear your app cache data easily. And similarly, you can do this on your iPad as well. The steps are pretty same. So we learned first what is cache, why do we need to clear it, and what are the different types of cache in your iPhone and how to delete them. So I really hope you liked the video and comment down below if there's anything you didn't understand or you're facing any difficulty. And with that, don't forget to subscribe our channel that is iGeeks Vlog. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life.